Uh, you know, I, I don't even think about that. You know, like you say, it's just walking to the to the paddock with Zinata is such a special experience. You just can't believe it. I mean, as soon as the crowd sees her, they start, you know, yelling Zinata, yay, yay, Zinata, Zinata, you know, and you're walking over, and it's just an amazing feeling. You know, it's just so much fun, and and you just feel like everybody, you know, loves your horse, loves you. You know, it's just a it's a great feeling. That'll be an emotional walk coming up. Oh. You know, Churchill Downs is always an emotional place, you know. It's, uh, and, and when you go through that tunnel and everybody's yelling and screaming and the energy is just going everywhere and you happen to be with a horse that's just focused, you know, just going through a boom, boom, boom. It's just really nice. Is that the end of the world? No. Of course. Of course. No, it's not the end of the world, you know. Not at all. Giving her the opportunity to achieve a, you know, something that seems almost unattainable is, I think, more important. As far as I'm concerned, you know, she's just one of the best ever. She's going to go off to the pasture, and if she's 19 for 20 or 20 for 20, I think she'll be okay. I think she'll be happy. <laughs> no, I, I, I would think that would be almost... Uh, almost too much. I mean, for what she's done for the horse industry over the last three years, I, I, I would have to say that would be a real slap in the face. Even if she doesn't win. Yeah, yeah. So you think she, she deserves it this year regardless? Well, I think, yeah, not only a performance, but on what she's done for, the, for racing in general.